I reached out to a few different booktubers and asked them to recommend a book based on a Game of Thrones character. They could use the personality, the storyline, something about them, their character arc. Really, it was up to them to connect the book to the character in whichever way they saw fit. I hope you enjoy this Game of Thrones book collaboration, and of course, I will link to every channel in the description below. Hey friends, this is Rachel from Rachel Ray, and my Game of Thrones selection was Tyrion Lannister, which is a character that I identify strongly with in some ways. Um, and when I think about Tyrion, I always think of someone who is trying to think themselves out of a situation or a predicament that they may have gotten themselves into. And the book that I thought paired so well uh, with Tyrion's character and personality uh, is The Prince by Niccolo Machiavelli. The Prince is the epitome of someone trying to think themselves out of a very unfortunate situation that they found themselves in. The plan backfired, at least for Niccolo, and uh, got him exiled out of Florence by trying to give um, advice on politics and management of people uh, to the current prince that was reigning and I find this book so insightful and interesting and um, timeless. So if you're interested in a book that really that really embodies the spirit of Tyrion Lannister, I definitely recommend The Prince by Niccolo Machiavelli. Hi guys, John, Booktube Hubby here. Uh, my character was Arya Stark, and because of her story and what she goes through, her family is taken at a young age, and she ventures off on her own and uh, finds a way to learn to become a silent killer. So I'm going to recommend you check out Never Night by Jay Kristoff, if you haven't already read it yet. Now is a good time to do so. Uh, it's about Mia Corvere, similar situation. Family gets taken early on, and uh, she goes off and becomes this little badass. Uh, probably more than badass, but we're gonna stick with that word. With that, check out Nevernight. Bye. Hey booktube, I'm Kathy of the channel Kathy Trithart. And today I am giving you a book recommendation based on Jon Snow. This character I find is incredibly loyal, incredibly dedicated, and has been underestimated. Based on those three qualities, I am going to recommend In Other Lands by Sarah Reese Brennan. This book is a portal fantasy in which this boy Elliot goes to this military academy, but he is a pacifist, so he is on the strategic side as opposed to the warrior side. He ends up being friends with these two people who are definitely warriors. Serene is 100% loyal. Luke is the embodiment of dedication. And Elliot is highly underestimated. So the combination of these three characters make up the traits in Jon Snow that I love the most. In addition, In Other Lands is snarky and hilarious, and if you've never read it, please do. Thanks for including me in this recommendations list. I can't wait to see what other people have chosen. I'm Kathleen from the channel For the Love of Books and the character that I chose is Lyanna. Lyanna is actually one of my favorite characters from the Game of Thrones because despite her age and despite her gender because in Game of Thrones although we do have a lot of strong female characters it is very male dominated. Despite all of that Lyanna is what I consider to be one of the strongest female characters in this series. She is the heir to her house and she's not afraid to put people in their place and she's not afraid to do what is right not only for the northerners but what is right for her house i love that she doesn't take bs from anybody not even grown-up males i love that she puts these males in their place i absolutely love her i think she is a great great character and so the book that i chose that really reminds me of liana is this savage song by victoria schwab the main character 
Kate here reminds me a lot of Liana because Kate kind of had to grow up in a world that her father dominates. So her father provides security against the monsters that live in this world and she kind of has to live up to his shoes. She's a strong female character and I love her. She's feisty and she knows what's right from wrong and she is not afraid to fight for what is right and I really really enjoyed the series and I think Kate reminds me a lot of Leanne. Hello people of the earth and internet, I'm Maj Kamali and I'm here to recommend you a book based on the deserved so much better than this, Masande of Narth. Narth. Noth. I can't say it. I love Masande since the first episode she was in, Dracarys. There's a lot wrong with how Masande died, but we don't have time for all of that. I'm, this lip shade I'm wearing is called All the Wine Cersei Lannister Drinks. Let's recommend a book based on Masande. I'm gonna recommend to you Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Caraval, the first in the Caraval series trilogy, which just recently wrapped up with Finale by Stephanie Garber, is an amazing series. The first book in the series follows Scarlet Dragna and her younger sister Donatella, and they live on this reclusive small island in their kingdom. And Scarlet and Donatella, and Scarlet primarily, is heavily abused by their father. And then they receive an opportunity to escape and go to this event known as Caraval. The reason I felt this really related to Missunday, Scarlet and Missunday have like this pure goodness to them. They don't have these mad wants for power or these lusts. They just are beautiful, pure human beings who just want people to be happy and want to do the right thing and care about those whom they love, which honestly, characters like that and people like that are a real rarity and we should celebrate those who are those kinds of people and are those kinds of characters. The character I selected is Samuel Tarley, and the book that I'm recommending for him is Strange the Dreamer. In Game of Thrones, Samuel is always reading something. He's always got his nose in a book. He's always presenting solutions that he found in a book. There's also a citadel that he goes to work in, and there's a citadel in Strange the Dreamer. Anyway, it's more about the library and just that seeking knowledge and being surrounded by books. In Strange the Dreamer, Laszlo Strange is a junior librarian, so he's always surrounded by books. He's seeking to find out more information about the city of Weep, but he's clearly a bibliophile, just like Samuel. Hey everyone, I'm Ellie or Die Kitty Reads here on Booktube, and my Game of Thrones character that I chose was Brienne of Tarth, which is one of my favorite characters of all time. Although they did her a little dirty this season, but that's totally fine. I'm not gonna let's not discuss that. In the books, at least, she still has my heart. And a book that I decided to recommend to you guys in honor of Brienne is Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. So let me explain to you why this book is a total Brienne book and then you'll be like wow why haven't I read it and you'll be and I'll be like because you're missing out man. So this book follows Breck who was once a massive AI ship. She's still an AI but she was once a massive AI ship called the Justice of Torin and the Justice of Torin had a ton of he, like basically a little mini army of just human bodies and all of them were just like there's like one mind one hive mind and the whole book is about justice the justice of Torin is then blown up and Breck is on a path of justice for her blown up counterpart ship because she's just now a singular thing floating around in this world. This book was very much a very loving Brienne pick for me because Breck is gender neutral. Breck is an AI. It's a, a, a body that doesn't have a gender norm to fit in and I felt like this is a very Brienne thing because Brienne in this medieval time setting that she's in in Game of Thrones breaks a lot of those gender stereotypes and breaks them all down and is just like really freaking cool. This whole book is just about Breck trying to get revenge, trying to keep the honor of her ship, trying to keep the honor of her people, but also just trying to find her place in this world and I feel like that's a very Brienne book. I love this book so much and I really think that you guys will really enjoy it and I think that Brienne would really enjoy it herself if she could read it and was a real person and was not another character in a different book, but I digress. So, so that was my recommendation guys, thank you so much Desiree for this and I am so excited to see everybody else's recommendations. Hi guys, my name is Amanda and my channel is A Beautiful Bookworm. 
So for this video, the Game of Thrones character that I chose was Sansa Stark. And when I think of Sansa, I think of a few things. I think she was naive and selfish in the beginning. I think that she was very smart and quick-witted. By the end, I would think of her as a survivor. So because of that, the book that I'm going to recommend to you is Girls with Sharp Sticks. This is by Suzanne Young. The main character, Philomena, she is naive and complacent and content, but that's what she's being taught to be. Uh, the school she goes to is run by all men, and they're teaching these girls how to be like this perfect image of what like people were people think of as like the trophy wife or the perfect woman right um, they're on very strict diets they're told what to think how to think it how to dress how to dye their hair how to put their makeup on and they can't deviate from that if they veer off the course they're sent to these intense therapy sessions um, and they're they're scared of that so like they're being manipulated they're being scared into submission almost and they're kind of content with that. Throughout the story arc though, Philomena kind of starts to get angry. And once she's angry, then she decides that she can flip this manipulation around onto the people that are manipulating her. And I think she does a really good job of that. And by the end of it, I would like to say that Philomena is a survivor. And when I think of Sansa Stark, I think of Sansa as a survivor. And I know a lot of people hate on her, but really she's had the most redeeming story arc in the whole series. And I think that if she was to read this book, she would be able to relate with it so highly recommend this one um, if you are fans of Sansa Stark and that whole story arc. Hey what's up guys my name is Damien so the character I chose to give a recommendation on was one that's not necessarily my favorite but I do admire her and that's Cersei Lannister. As of right now she hasn't kicked the bucket yet but we'll see how that goes tonight because today is Sunday. But anyways I feel like the biggest part of Cersei's character and her overarching theme is revenge whether it is with Tyrion or Daenerys or basically anyone that does anything remotely bad to her she wants to ruin their life. So basically I think Cersei's character arc is mainly focused on revenge and so because of that the book I'm going to be recommending is Red Rising. So if you guys haven't heard about this book, which I doubt because a lot of people do talk about it on booktube, I know that even on this channel right now you guys have heard a lot about it, so yes. So basically in this book Darrow um, kind of goes on like this huge overarching revenge quest of people that he doesn't necessarily know anything about. He just knows that he feels angry and cheated and stuff taken away from him and yeah basically it kind of complicates things once he starts learning about the people that he's essentially acting against. There's a better explanation for that I'm sure but in terms of revenge I feel like this whole plot is focused on revenge throughout the entire series. Red Rising for Cersei. And it also has the Lannister colors on there so. so I just want to pop in here really quick to apologize to Rachel and Rachel. Wow, that makes it a lot more interesting. It was totally my fault, but I accidentally logged two people for Tyrion. My name is Rachel Marie, and I am recommending The Slow Regard of Silent Things to Tyrion Lannister. Now, this is a short novella in the Kingkiller Chronicles series, which was written by Patrick Rothfuss. And this story follows I'm such a small, cute girl called Ori. Ori lives in the underthing of the university and this is basically a snapshot of a week of her life, the kind of things that she gets up to, the way that she moves and thinks and interacts with the world. The writing is exquisite, it's so gosh darn cute and the reason why I recommend this for Tyrion Lannister and the reason why I connect it is because I can just imagine him sat talking with her and the stories that they would tell each other, the quotes from a book that would include two of those, like I can't even cope with that. This is one of my all-time favourite books, she is one of my all-time favourite characters and so is Tyrion Lannister so I need them together, I need them in a book together and I believe that he will would absolutely love her character so much. I could see him protecting her, I could see him loving her. Yeah, I'm so, so, so there for it. You do have to have read The Name of the Wind by Patrick Groffers to really get the context of Slow Regard of Silent Things, but you should be reading both of these. You should have read them, because seriously, they are life-altering. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much to every booktuber that participated. If you have a book recommendation based on a Game of Thrones character that you'd like to share with everyone, please feel free to drop it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe for more bookish content and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.